The word pretext is defined as uh, the story or the details that's given surrounding a certain event or some circumstances, and it's not true. Context, on the other hand, is the circumstances that surround an event that give detail and lay a foundation to pick through all of the parts so that the, the circumstances of the story is laid out plainly and what was seen that was there but could not be seen is now seen. For most of us, we have lived the pretext. We have lived inside of stories and justification surrounding events, but the the detail wasn't actually true. The 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 examples, the words that we were given, it was not actually true. And so we live our life from going from pretext to pretext because we have not really been living the real story, right? If I, if the backstory is untrue, then the now or the present that is connected to the backstory is also not true. It is not optimum. It is not um, official. There's a lot of super superficial um, detail that should not be there because the pretext was actually not the context. When we come into the context, when we come into the actual circumstances, when we come to the actual detail, when we understand what was really going on, what happens is a holy aha rests upon us and it, it has this way of backtracking and healing and bringing context to everything that we've gone through before. Psalms 18, 24, God rewrote the text of my life when I opened the book of my life to his eyes. What happens a lot of times is even when we're trekking with God, we don't open up, we don't fully open up the book of our life. We don't fully open up the book of our circumstances. We pray into, we pray about the pretext. And so you got to get this picture. So what happens when I'm praying about a belief system that is rooted in pretextual context, in, in, in circumstances, in definitions that actually aren't real? They actually aren't real. And so we're looking to God to answer something. We're looking for the Father to shift something and to move something that actually is not the real story. And so what happens is a lot of times we have to sit before the Lord and we have to ask him to bring context to our pretext because it's going to change our book. It's going to change the text of our book. When you think about this, God rewrote the text of my life. What does that mean? A book is uh, just a collection of words. It's just a collection of text. It's a collection of letters uh, strung together to bring meaning uh, when the reader actually lays their eyes upon it, right? So when we talk about your life, it is a collection of words. It's a collection of experiences that when we read, we understand where you've been and what you should have and where you're going and all of these things. But what happens when I don't understand that the life that I think I'm living, the things that I think I'm praying, about what I really want to move, it's I don't have the full story. I don't have the actual words. I don't have the true definition. And so this morning on this Monday, it's hashtag the best week ever. We are saying that this is going to be a good week because we are going to pray that God would bring us into the context, that we would leave the place of pretext, that we would leave the place of justification where we don't have the full story, where we don't have the real details, and that the Father would give us context. He will put his context, not our context, not the story of, of, of the people, the places, and the purposes as they converge, but his story as to why he put these people, why why he put this purpose and why we had to be in these places. That context, the glory context is going to change everything. The text of your life can change when the story, the books of your life, when God has um, the ability and he has the space to begin to bring understanding of what it really is. When we think about Romans 8, 28, quoted all the time, all things work together. This is context. This is glory context. All things working together where he takes the pretext that was handed to you by somebody else who had a piece of a story who was rolling in pretext and that it was handed to them by somebody who had a piece of a story. And so all of us are living these pieces. All of us are living 
um, out these pieces. If we look at uh, Psalms 18 verse 20, it says, my pieces of my life, uh, when I put, when I gave them to God, he made it complete. So God can take the pieces and he can make com- it, it, it complete. Now, when we think about pieces, it's not like puzzle pieces. It's not like I'm handing him all of the pieces and all he has to do is put it together. No, I'm handing him fragmented pieces and he actually remakes them, reshapes them, or he gives me new pieces, right? We're coming to God with incompleteness. He is our completeness. And so what happens is we've been handed incompleteness over and over and over and over. So we take the pieces, but he makes our life complete. We have some words and what he does is he will rearrange the words or he will bring the true definition and it changes our whole story. Hashtag the best week ever. May this be the week where your story begins to change. May this be the week where you begin to run in the context. You begin to run in the truth. You begin to move with the ideology that is true, that is perfected, that is mature, that is a glory uh, dripping all over it. May you and I not move in pieces of stories and pieces of half truths and and, and praying through uh, shadows of, of, of what we think really happened. And that's really not what happened. And so Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for a space and a time where we really understand how can all things work together for our good? How can our memories be changed and rearranged and our life be recharged, recharged? How God can you cause our strength to be renewed, our power to become new, our vitality to become new, our vibrancy to become new? It happens when we lay before you the text of our words, the text of our books, and we understand that we could be praying about a peace or we could be believing for a piece of a thing that's all in error and you have a way of blessing it. You have a way of opening our eyes and bringing us into your truth. And so Holy Spirit, we thank you that you are the one that brings us into all truth. And so we agree quickly. We thank you that the chapters, the verses, the the sentences of our lives are getting ready to be rearranged properly. And according to the truth of God for each of our lives, hashtag this is the best week ever because we're getting ready to be brought into the understanding of the weight of glory that has always been upon our lives and the missing pieces and the gaps, the gapes and the holes. They shall be filled in with the truth of the Lord. And so we agree quickly with this word. God, we wrote the text of our life when we opened the books of our life to his eyes. And so today we lay out our words. We lay out our life. We lay out what we think we know. We lay out what we've been told before you, Father. And we say to you, King of glory, is this the truth? And if it is not, thank you, God, that you rearrange. Thank you, God, that you redo and you reorder and you make us come into the new of the truth in Jesus name.